From the last video, we made a forward and reverse control of a DC motor by a potentiometer and two transistors. Now, our aim for this demonstration is to ideally achieve zero volt on both bases of the transistors wherever the knob of the pot will be positioned. So in that arrangement, the motor will also stop other than in the center position alone. To do that, we have to introduce another identical potentiometer to have an output of an exactly opposite voltage to counteract the output of the control pot that will ideally result to a zero voltage on the bases of the two transistors electrically. This is also called an inverted feedback. To prevent short circuit or burning of either of the pot from the maximum counter voltage opposition, I added a 1 kilo ohm resistors in series in each of the pot output before nodding to the bases of the two transistors. This second pot will be mechanically engaged with the motor, so that in this arrangement, we can achieve somehow, target control, or position control. And this will now be called a servo feedback. Since it is mechanically engaged to the motor, this is a purely analog and a linear control in as simply as possible, with minimal electronic components that I could arrange. For precise control we need a complex calculation, complex electronics design, and a suitable actuators and a high precision variable resistors for